Of course, we're making a bunch of pickles, y'all. This is a fun thing to do when it's cold outside. Then you can enjoy them on your first spring picnic. You'll need four liters of white vinegar, two liters of water, three tablespoons of peppercorns, five tablespoons of salt, as well as a little bit of dill, and all the things you're gonna use to make pickles. In this case, we're using baby okra, squash blossoms, kale, tomatoes, quail eggs, and chicken eggs. The first step is to boil the vinegar with the dill. Then you add the salt, pepper, and garlic until it's all boiling. So I have here my kale that's been all chopped up and the okra where I just cut off the stem but left the pot intact. You want your eggs to be soft boiled, both the chicken eggs and the quail eggs. Fill the pickling vessel with the items and then the liquid. Make sure you pour the boiling liquid all over everything until it's completely covered. If the liquid doesn't reach the top of the container, you just have to place a layer of plastic wrap over the items and cover that plastic wrap with the rest of the liquid. That way, the pickles won't be in contact with the air while they ferment. Store your pickles for at least three weeks in a cool and dry place, but you can keep them for much longer if you want. Today I'm serving these pickles with toast, but they'd be nice as a Bloody Mary garnish, chopped up as a relish in egg salad or potato salad, or as a classy sandwich topping, or even as a counterpoint to mac and cheese. It's super common and super tasty to serve salty snacks with sparkling wine, so for this course we have two wine options, Dubois Vino Blanco Espumoso, non-vintage from Mexico, and Rocca de Forte Brut, non-vintage also from Italy. They're both fresh with snappy acid. That'll match the pickles. Serve both of these very cold. The Dubois Blanco Espumoso is made from the Ugni Blanc grape, also known as Trebbiano. This is the grape used in cognac and has been used in wine since Roman times. The Rocca de Forte is from La Marche in central Italy, along the Adriatic Sea. This area is also known for the Trebbiano grape. 